So at the moment we have two orphan foals that we are looking after. But we've had Velvet now for just under two weeks and we've had Prawn for just about three or four days and they settled in really well. Velvet unfortunately got taken by another mare instead of her mother so she didn't really get her colostrum or her milk that she needed and the mares ended up fighting over her which resulted in her getting battered and bruised but she's recovering well. Prawn, her mother unfortunately dropped dead, we don't know the reason but we've got her and she's doing really really well, full of life and loving it. <laughs> I muck them out, help my mum do, so they have a grass net just to make them more adapted to outside life and everything. Um, they have fresh milk usually every four to six hours just to keep them going because they are showing it between two of them so it goes quite quick. I mean we walk them out into their little paddock, they have fun there, they play with each other, chase me up and down, <laughs> they think I'm their friend, <laughs> and do their water, scratches, stretches. We are hoping that they go out in the forest, but they're almost too tame to go out in the forest because where they've been very humanised with us, obviously we had no choice because we had to help them. But maybe in the next few years we'll see how they're going. Obviously if they're too friendly, we don't want them out in the forest because otherwise that encourages people to touch them, feed them. But they'll have a happy life either way. Having orphan foals and seeing them without their mothers, just like you have to give them an opportunity and they are the sweetest. And they really deserve it. I think that's where my passion comes from. Just, I've, I've been around them all my life. I sat on my horse, my first horse, when I was eight weeks old. Horses are just everything to me mainly. 